extra. Yeah, it can be the difference maker sometimes. I like unsilencing the USB. And you have more ammo in reserve. You don't run out with the PT-1000. Well, that's true. Shocks in the corner. Has gotten into middle at bench, but they see him. It's not as protected as it used to be, so Ali would have seen his arm, whether he knew he was there or not, when he swung wide into the locked position. The bottom of middle. Bodies tagged as well, so this actually turns around quite significantly. It's not necessarily clear-cut in the fact that it's a one-man advantage still for G2. If body gets found, it all goes level. They're going to go back over toward B, however. Crossfire set. NBK. Ooh, towards CT. Who gets a great first shot responded by Alu, and that'll send them in toward the site. It's Kenny in the back, great shot again from Alu. He's up to three, and he's looking to hold off towards CT, but the rotations will come from Banana. Apex on his own and early. There's your P2000. He's going to be alone and has to do it all because even though Body's in this still, he's got six HP and he's not yet nearby to even trade. So Apex has to be a little bit careful. He at least gets information before Body arrives, which will serve to benefit him in this situation. But Alu's got four. He's up to it. Body's low. Alu could find an ace in the immediate opening round, and he will to start it off with all five. MBK on the scout. One of two. Double scout setup, not the double op. Kerrigan, shoulder peak, ooh, he's gotta be careful. Nine HP, tagged immediately, gets it by somehow, but that's gonna queue oh, in no. Apex, this crossfire. It's punishing. So much HP as they tag up Kerrigan, who stays to nine, and then get Alu down to 49. However, the kills do go the way of phase, and it will be a push to the A site. Shox is gonna try and sneak in behind the 5-7. Still with the scout. The debate about the 5-7 on the desk of the nine. Look at Body to start it off, takes down Alu immediately. This is actually not too bad at all from G2. Kenny, no armor, no kits on the three of them that remain alive. Smoked off. Is this where you call the save despite doing so much damage earlier? Do you just want to punish them everywhere possible? Body's going to take Nico. That's certainly punishing indeed. It's 29 and 9 left for the HP of FaZe. And they're struggling to find the opening kill. They're struggling indeed to set the Jeez. crossfire. The defuse is on it. 10 seconds and he's got the time. It's going to be G2 to pull it back 1 1. Spray them down with the smoke. Takes away his advantage he had. It will be a full wrap towards the A Ooh. side at this point. MBK finds one, but taken down. And Rain snaps back around to find his third kill. He will go down, but Keo steps up to find shocks and Apex jumping in the smoke. They spot him, but he's gone to the silence stem four. He's gonna snip in as well. This is still 2v1. Oh, that's gotta be close for Alu. Goes to a 1v1. Alu lets him kick his teammate down, but he's there to punish him back. Five However, four, you know he's on pistols as well. Don't need to run into the bomb side, so they feel like it. And shocks he's got a chance to find a headshot here. Now already missing out there, and they will be making their way towards the B side now. That's Kerrigan's style though, isn't it? Get a kill, and then if he if they already have position, just go. And yeah, but you just never know if you're running to the stack. I, I, well, in my that's the problem. Opinion. I agree. No, I totally agree. It's just we see it so much. Yeah, it's just that now he's been punished by one frag. They still should be absolutely fine. They're sticking together and making sure they have trade potential here. Kiyoshima leading the way towards A side, but he's going to find the Deagle, and they're by themselves. Where's the refrag at this point? They're being clumsy, but Nico will find the next kill. But the AK picked up in pit as well. Nico gets the shot on Shocks. Ooh. Thankfully, they got MBK, but Kenny's arrived. Two immediately on the P250 bomb down in the A site. Alu has to go. Op versus Op, but neither with it. It's going to be an AK-47 for Alu and the P-250 for Kenny, and Kenny's trying to flank him. He's trying to rotate around, just gets around the corner at Quad before he arrives. Oh, this is perfect from Kenny. Yep. He gets the timing right here. It's he going to be down to like a second whether he gets it. Here it is, oh! and he gets the dink! Turns, but comes back again. The repeat, because Alu tried to spray in, and Kenny's timing is perfect. It's a return serve again, this time on the full save. And Keo on the Deagle. Despite that Alu's been tagged to 54, he'll keep the AK-47, and it's NBK in the pit. They have to try and take down immediately. His AK looks up, sees Keo go in, he manages to avoid it with a good strafe jump outward. And then the flash comes in, responded, Keo does trade, but they lose Kerrigan, who they could have benefited oh. from having. Nice shot from Kenny through the open door before the smoke gets there as well. That means bomb. It gets tossed all the way to the corner. Has to be picked up by Alu and planted, and he'll have to come up with three kills in the round, two more to find as Kenny stays outside of the smoke. Shox is gonna go with him, smoke down for another few seconds before they can push through, but Alu's considering the flank. That smoke should be gone right about now, I believe, as they no start kits. to get closer. No kits indeed, gives them a threshold of 13 seconds to work with, 10 seconds now for Shox to get the kill and get on the bomb. Alu's dancing well, the base time out, and he's got the headshots as well, FaZe. They get another round in a row, and G2 limited to two is gonna have no money again now. So well played by Alu, so calm. These pistols. One of them boosted up as well. That's Body, and Body oh, gets yeah. two on the way through. Headshots as well, 5-7, still in oh, position. No. Bomb down, Alu tagged. And Body, oh, it's Kenny that beats him to it. But they'll lock this out, walked into it again. 
They didn't they didn't go for any sort of execution there. They tried to just go for the simple. A little bit one. timid to do so, hesitant in fact, because Body's still at library. Instead, he goes back to catch off shocks in rotation from bottom banana. Kenny toward a sight. Scope nearly got the right angle. Now it's on to Body. Last alive. Nose reigns in behind the box because his teammate was just killed by him, but he still has to solve it, still has to find him and worry about Nico trying to wrap back in from apartments, but Nico taking his time to get to the doorway means Body gets it down to the one-on-one, -on -one, but Nico He's holds. He's winning this game now, it's actually looking very promising on the T side of eight rounds, you're in a very good step in the second half. Nico gets in a position of power at top middle, jumps around, oh did he not see it? He didn't at all, Kenny was there, he was on his screen, but didn't re spawn in time. And as such, Kenny wow. gets one before going down, but look at the response as FaZe immediately turn around to catch off Body coming down from Banana. And a quick round as they take Apex. FaZe get their ninth. And he was also smoked off, to be fair. Won't spot him. And the smoke's actually going to let him get back away as well. Oh, careful. Going to continue to try and find a pick, but Kenny is set and ready. Two men down now on the phase side. Back to B might be back to basics because they've got to try and find their way into his sight. Smoke to go off toward Coffins. Oh, the second one, Shocks, sitting at CT. There's just a smoke landing now, which means, oh, he actually had the read. Lagged him, I believe. Definitely like Kiyoshima. Both of them tagged up. That gives Body a real chance to find multiples, but he can't do it. Nico's got the shot instead, Ooh. tagged to 34, mind you. They're all very, very low, but they get the bomb down, and they're going to try and push into Shocks. Good trade despite that he finds the first one, and it gives them a chance to reset their positions and get ready for the retake, but it's gonna be a strong retake. No kits, but not much damage required to find both kills. Therefore, it's the pressure on FaZe to find the first shot. Smoke on Apex in the lineup, can't hit the shot. Kyo goes down, it's on to Nico, and Apex rounds in to find him quite quickly. It will go nine to six. It armor will on five. Oh, Rain. look at the push from Rain. He's gonna get to bench. They're actually gonna go up past him in apartments. And Kerrigan's going to slow them. This will give information to Rain to try and turn back down. And Kerrigan gets Rain's two. Old. Rain's back in position. Body's the last alive. And I was going to say they went with a smoke execution with four sets of chest plates. Two kills for Body in this, the 1v5. But it doesn't really matter what they bought at this point. Going to go to the USP and try and get a headshot from Range instead. Rain and Alu working together, but they aren't going to peek all at once. Rain just trying to get himself back out of position. And instead, he'll go down to the bottom middle to cover off Banana because no one's over toward B. Well, Body in a difficult spot now. He has got the bomb, and I was going to say, FaZe maybe overextend the situation. There's still a chance Body could pick one of them off. As soon as he gets one kill, it's a 2v1, and that round's possible. So they will be subsiding at this point, I, falling back, but... i got to point out something out. that just happened. Go on. Body Let's looks at the window. As well. Carrigan's pushed down with the MP7, trying to shut down the teaser. At the start of the round, he gets one, but taken down there by Kenny S. Well, he's going to back off. Carrigan's caught, though. That'll bring it back. Oh, look at Keo already down. Banana gets behind them. Down goes Kenny. Shocks Tech 9 now upgraded to an AWP. He's going to try and pull it back. Bomb down to his left. He's got to go for it. Knows Reigns in that corner because he saw the nades thrown, but Reigns spots him as he tries to slide back to the site. Information much desired. Oh, and he didn't get to the bomb either. It was on the other side of the pillar, and they've Molotoved it off. So despite having that position and them not being aware that he was there, he was unable to pick up the bomb and get away with it, which is a problem because now they can continue to challenge, and they'll do that. Reigns going to take it. out of the bombings. Rain backs off, but Keo steps forward. He only manages one with the flashes coming out, and Rain's got to be careful, blinded. As he Ooh. finds his way in the sight, it's Body to get both on the entrance. Alu does make up slightly for it by taking shots, giving room for the rotation to come in from the arch side. Finally, a bomb goes down for G2. The gap for Alu to work with. Tries to look toward the pit. Oh, overreaction. He was there and flicked too far to the left to miss the shot onto Kenny's head. Kerrigan they're waiting for position inside of apartments boost from Nico to Alu. We knew Amazing. Kenny was in the corner. Very well coordinated. And now Kerrigan jumps down to take the second player in pit, or does he? Doesn't quite land the shot. It leaves Apex in position. Nico does follow it up. But time is ticking below the 10-second threshold. They've got a kit. They've got the kill. They've got just the time. Got yeah. The Very time. close, but just barely get on it. Oh, I take it back. The timer. Back over to B where the bomb exists in the hands. Ooh. Now the only hands left on the B side of Shocks, as Nico does get body. Tight angle on the AWP. They need to get rid of one of these orbs now. This is going to be a real difficult round for them. Shocks and Kenny S. You have to frag into this one, and they've got to try and get into a bomb site. Potential close range situations as well. There it is. Shocks, he does find an AK. They're taken down by Nico. 
Chucks wanted the AK sooner, but he didn't want to drop his gun to give away that he was there until his teammate was close by. Now means four versus one, however. Apex, this is a reset as well, and it'll put FaZe on the map point. He's got to clutch this back. Nico, great round. Gets three. It's going to be AK, Galil, Banana Rush. Hope for the best, but Molotov down. Flashbang's good as well. Carrigan trying to find the first frag, which he gets, but it's replied straight away by Kenny S. Nico will sit with the AWP again inside the B site, but a more passive angle at New Box this time. Doesn't matter. It's over. New box, old trick, same play. AWP for Nico takes down Apex. He'll get Molotov off, get the smoke out. Will he? Doesn't matter. Alu's gonna show up to get Kenny. Shocks though, will try and fight to keep them alive. He can't do it. FaZe will take map one, 16 to seven. And it's certainly not the 2-0 people were expecting.